Hey guys, as some of you might know, I am Wolves Bjergsen from Copenhagen Wolves. I'm just going to do my very first vlog talking about what's happened the last couple of weeks and what's going to happen next week. Um, so, going back um, a couple of weeks were the LCS EU qualifier, where Wolves were in group with AAA, TCM and a Polish team called TNB, if I can remember correctly. Um, we only lost against AAA. AAA played really well. They did a car to solo bot, which I have really haven't seen other teams do, so props to them for yeah, beating Wolves. I really wasn't expecting AAA to do that well. I knew AAA had some good players, but I really weren't expecting them to be able to beat uh, Wolves, even with a sub. Um, but AAA got first place in the group and we got second place. That meant we had to face Millennium and AAA had to face Dragonborns. I really wasn't expecting my team to be Millennium because Millennium showed very strong overall before the LCS EU qualifier. They were beating pretty much every team in a convincing manner online and all the online tournaments they just pretty much stomped. So I wasn't too happy after the first day. I was like, okay, we gotta lose against Millennium, then go for the um, the last place. Um, but surprisingly, my team actually beat Millennium, so I'm really proud of them for doing that. Um, it looked like they've changed up a lot of their strategies while I was gone, so that's really good. Um, talking about the first game uh, in LCS that we played against SK. Um, I feel like it was small mistakes that lost us the game. Um, uh, Kaltar didn't position very well, thinking where he had the ward. The ward was at the enemy rates, and he was standing closer to his own rates, so he was easy to gank. Um, Gobro also misclicked his flash, which pretty much made him die to a gank, which just shouldn't happen. But um, those are just small things that we can easily work on. So I feel like the game against SK was kind of early game mistakes that it snowballed and yeah. So that game could have been played way better. I'm going to have to say that. Um, but yeah, against EG, I think we did a lot better in the early game. Um, but some bad decisions, some chases and some bad fights pretty much just through the game. When a team like EG gets a small advantage, they're not going to throw it away. They're a solid team, so they just don't throw away a small advantage. Um, they will keep it most of the time. Um, so we just made some small mistakes against EG and top lane had a hard time because they did uh, a really strong comp with Kale Jungle and Akali top. Because Akali can, as most of you know, do a lot of damage. Um, but she's pretty squishy most of the time. Unless you build tanky, then she's not going to do as much damage, obviously. But with Kale, Kale can just use her ult on Akali, and she's invulnerable for I don't know how long. So if you use, if you blow everything on Akali as she jumps in, she's just going to get shielded by Kale. So that's a really nice and strong comp by um, by EG. Also using Twisted Fade mid to counter Shen's split push was a good idea. So. I still think EG is ahead of us as a team. They're a really experienced and solid team, and I wasn't expecting them to beat them. I was really happy that they could... I think they were actually ahead at some point in the early game, I'm not really sure. But they were doing good uh, in the early game, Wolves. Um, so next week is my birthday, where I will be turning 17. So I'll be playing with my team again from next week. Actually, after the 6th... 16th I will start practicing with my team because that's the next LCS match so I'm really looking forward to that I've been missing playing with my team solo queue is cool but it's way more fun playing with my team uh, it's a lot more competitive it's a lot more satisfying when we beat other teams and yeah I just like it more overall um, so yeah I hope you guys will watch us play and thank you for watching this vlog